This is another question from the most failed uni Lorraine Positiami question for general paper and this is um, question 11 in our series and it says while preparing for the post jam aptitude test Felix read through pages 35 to 78 and 102 to 127 of an English textbook how many pages did he read altogether we have options A to D which are 58, 70, 68 and 54. So let's um, see how we can solve this. Let's say Felix read through 35 to 78. So let's see 35 to 78. So we can say 78 minus 35. This will be 43. And he also read through pages 102 to 107 so um, 127 minus 102 which will be 25 um, just subtracting the highest page from the lowest page won't give us the right answer why is this because if he read from 35 to 78 that means he also read page 35 when subtraction overlooks the starting page if you just subtract it like that that means you are overlooking the starting page which is 35 and for us not to waste time so we just subtracted it and what we can do here is that we can add plus one right here and also plus one here so this makes it 44 plus 26 which will give us 70 so this is the total pages Felix read through in his English textbook. So our answer is option B, which is 70. Hello guys, this is question 12 in our series and it says, Who was the head of state when Nigeria first won the African Cup of Nations? I'm sure so many football fans or football fanatics would know this. Nigeria first won the African Cup of Nations in the year 1980 and the previous year the military head of state Olusegun Obasanjo transferred power to um, civilian regime of Shehu Shagari. So our answer is option A which is Shehu Shagari. Hello guys welcome to question 13 of our series and uh, the question says Given that G is directly proportional to the square of H, if G is 5 when H is 3, find H when G is 100. So let's see how we can um, solve a question like this. We have um, here our formula, which is formula of proportionality, which is equal to G. I'm using the letters as seen in our question. This is g is equals to and let's say c c is a constant of proportionality and h square so g is um, directly proportional to um, h square what we have to do we have to find um, the constant of proportionality which is c so we say find c when g is equal to 5 and h is equal to 3 so if we substitute for g and h in equation we have m um, 5 is equal to c which is and then 3 raised to the power 2 and this will be equal to 5 equals to c9 we can now say c is equal to 5 all over 9 so our constant of proportionality is 5 all over 9 so the next thing we have to do is and from the question, the question says find h when g is 100. So we say find h when g is 100. So if we substitute for g, say 100 equal to our cross constant of proportionality, which is 5 all over 9. We don't know what h is. So if we cross multiply, we have um, 100 times 9, which is over 5 equal to h and this will give us 
180 equal to h so you can say h equal to 180 so our answer is 180 and that is option c hello guys this is question 14 in our series and it says which of the following is not an excretory product and we have option a to d which are sweat urea urine and feces well looking at our options we see that sweat is an excretory product which is excreted from the skin through the sweat pores urea urea is a colorless crystalline compound which is excreted in urine and you know urine is an excretory product which is excreted from the ureter and we also have feces and feces is um, an excretory product which is excreted from the anus well this question is kind of tricky because um, all these are actually excretory products but the odd one out here is urea because urea is actually contained in urine and not excreted um, separately and so this makes um, urea the likely answer to this question which is option b hello guys this is question 15 of our series and um, this is actually another one for the football fanatics and it says the following Nigerian footballers have won the African Footballer Award except we have Victor Ipeba, Uwako Kanu, Rashid Yakini, and Austin Okocha. Well, you should know that all the listed footballers except Austin Okocha have won the African Footballer Award and Okocha actually came close in 1996 and 1998. He was the runner up for that award in 1996 and 1998, which makes option D the answer to this question. What's up, guys? This is question 16 in our series, and the question says An oncologist is a medical practitioner specialized in the treatment of, and we have options A to D which are tumors, fibroids, obesities, and ulcer. Well, if you google oncologists on the internet, and you see um, that an oncologist is a doctor who treats cancer and provides medical care for a person diagnosed with cancer. Well, this definition is not directly linked to our question right here, but what you should know is that cancer is an uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells anywhere in the body and these abnormal cells are sometimes called tumor cells so this means that cancer or cancers are tumors so this makes option a our answer for this question hello guys this is question 17 in our series and it says the breadth and length of a rectangle are L and 2L respectively. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? Let's see how we can solve this type of questions. Uh, the formula for perimeter, which is P, is 2 into the bracket L plus B. So this is the formula for perimeter. And if we substitute into this formula, we have two and our length is l while our breadth is two l so if you take care of what is in the bracket first so say l plus two l is three l and this will be equals to two times what is in the bracket this will be equals to six l so our perimeter is six l uh, this is option D in our list of options. And so the answer to this question is option D. Hello guys, this is question 18 in our series. And it says the last military head of state in Nigeria was. We have um, Sani Abacha as option A. Option B, we have Ibrahim Babagida. Option C, we have 
Abu Bakr Abdul Salam and Oshondi Mutala Muhammad. Well, all these people mentioned in the options were military head of state, but Abu Bakr Abdul Salam was the last military head of state we had in Nigeria. He took office on 8 June 1998 and left office on 29th May 1999. So, the answer to this question is option C. Hello guys, this is question 19 in our series and it says complete the followings. Oni and Osun, Sultan and Sokoto, Obi and Anambra, El Kanami and uh, we have um, option A to D which are Kaduna, Bonu, Castina and Yobe. Well, the, the El Kanami DNRC is the current ruling line of the Bonu Emirates. So, this um, makes um, the answer to this question option B. Hello guys, this is question 20 in our series and it says in which part of Nigeria will you find relics of granite pyramids? Uh, we have um, Kano as option A, option B we have Jaws, option C Sokoto and option D Meduguri. Well, granite pyramids were pyramid-like structures made from granite sacks. The pyramids were built in northern Nigeria, that is in cities such as Kano, where granite production was a key part of the economy. So there's high production of granite in Kano, and they were viewed as uh, both a tourist attraction and symbol of wealth. In 1960s and 70s, as production in Nigeria shifted from agriculture to oil, the granite pyramids um, actually disappeared. But recently, the Nigerian government has made efforts to revive the granite industry and rebuild the pyramids. What we should get from here is that um, the pyramids were built in northern Nigeria and they were built in cities such as Kano. So we have um, Kano as an option in our question and so this makes Kano the answer to this question.